Hi guys, Archie Luxury, and who do I recommend in America? In America, who do I recommend for quality pre-owned wristwatches? David SW, David SW, David SW. Go to davidsw.com. He is the best, the greatest pre-owned dealer in all of the United States of America. David SW, David SW, David SW. <laughs> Hey guys, Archie Luxury on the Archie Luxury channel. Guys, I went car shopping. I love motor vehicles. I love them. I love cars. And I went to Mercedes-Benz and I went to BMW, two of the big brands I really love. And I got to tell you, there is a shortage of vehicles. Normally, I like to go and have a look at the you know, the pre-owned premium cars. I don't really want to pay full sticker. I like, you know, one to three years old, you know, a couple of miles there. Get a bag in. Get the first person to take the depreciation hit. So, guys, I went down with a friend, uh, Toyota Mo. Toyota Mo is uh, just a very cool guy. Toyota Mo would say, get a Toyota. I got to agree with him. But anyhow, I went and had a look. I gotta tell you, Toyota Mo, if I wanted to go Toyota, I reckon the Camry is super cool. Lexus in Australia, they just dumped the uh, IS range, which I loved. Now the sedan, the base model sedan is the ES, the GS they dropped ages ago, which I actually like the GS. The ES, I'd rather get a Camry. I'd rather get a Camry than an ES. Why pay all that money? It's crazy. So the other choices are Benz and BMW. I went to Benz and then to BMW. The yard, Mother Hubbard's cupboard. The yard is bare. It's very, very bare. Believe you me, I've been coming to these car dealers for the last, oh, 20... 30 years, ever since I could drive, I've gone to car dealers and I love to walk around, have a look at motors, kick the tire, tires. Uh, I've never seen it this bad. Take a look, guys. This is Archie Luxury checking out cars in Australia, BMW and Mercedes. Archie Luxury. Let's have a look at some cars. EC, look at it. Do you, do you like it? EC, EQC. This is the EQC. $150,000. Four Matic, that's their four wheel drive. And they call it a EQC 400. So that performs like a 400. Wow, that's a, that's a quite a high power output. You notice too, you know how it's got 400 there? You know, Audi, they've done away with the two-liter turbo. It's actually got a number that gives you a, a power rating. Ah, I think you told me that. Yeah. Is that matte or what is that? Is that, is that, a, what, is that a wrap or what is that? No? Is that a 63 or so? Yeah, it's too loud. It's too. It's, I like it. It's, it's too it's in your uh, face. You don't like it. See, see, but do you need that much power in that sort of car? Like it's it's small. You know what? I like it though. This is the. Good. This is not just a C63. This is a C63S. Yes. Like That's it. like there. What's the, I like this one here. What's this blue one here? That's just a standard. Why wouldn't you need just that? I don't. The services on that are horrendous. You're, if what is this? Phone, but look at this here. This is a C200. Why, why do you need more than that? Look, like those it. tires are going to be so much more expensive to replace. That's those awesome. brakes, I, I, I'm right? I no, the seating is uncomfortable as shit. Those are beautiful seats. Oh, I, I don't like this. Do you like that blue? Like do you reckon it's sexy or not? Yeah, I love it. That is would sexy? It? Probably not, but I really do love How much it. would that be? About 150 or something, wouldn't it? I can tell you on the... You know, I tell you what. What, what do you think of the Audi? What do 
do you think of the Audi? No, it's just wine. No, but it's a two litre turbo. It's a nice A. I like the A4, don't you? No, never did. Okay. Wine and board. You know, this used to be an Audi dealer before it was Mercedes. Oh, really? This started off as UNOS. Oh. This was a UNOS dealer. Yeah. Oh, that's how they get their cars up there. Look. They drive them up there. What do you think? This is what? An S300. Blue Tech Hybrid. It's a hybrid one. I, I like a C300. That's perfect for me. You know that? I'd love a... I don't even like those wheels on it. My dad has got the... You don't like it. Those wheels? No, I like No. Them. My dad's got the ones in front. I reckon they look nicer. No, I like that. They're a bit more, you know, they're a bit more sporty. I think those, are, what, what size are those? I think those are 19s. My dad's are 18s, I think. No, but you try replacing that shit. I don't know, mate. That doesn't bother me. It's like with your watch. Yeah. You don't have to take it to protect. You could just go anywhere. Uh, not with the Patek. What do you think of those two series? Like that two series co co convertible. Don't like it. You don't like it? No. Like I like I like the alloys on that. That's the luxury line. I love the luxury they're line. Very small alloys. What what is? No, they're, those. They're very small. How how are they small? I like a. They're. Uh, I thought seventeen. I thought I used that. 16. What's wrong? Se what's wrong with that? Too small. Seventeens. Seventeens are massive. My BMW had 14s on it. 15s, I think. 14s, 14s. 14s. Even the Falcons, they had 12 inch, you know that? You know the XD, they had 12s on them. I still like that Audi there. I think that's a sexy car. But that's what an Audi driver is. They kind of like that. That's a Quattro as well. Shit, that's money. So you can see they've got no stock because look, all the car. Remember last time yeah, we came? That, so that means they have sold out everything. <clears throat> can you believe it? There's no stock. What the fuck yeah. does that mean? What does that mean? See, that's the MG that was trouble. See those MGs? Looks famous, okay. famous for head gasket leaks. Oh. Absolute garbage. The British can't make anything that works. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's what they said with MG became so much more reliable when it went to China. <laughs> <coughs> now this is stealthy. That S class, what do you think? It doesn't have the Oh no, that's those that's those touch buttons too, isn't it? Maybe it just Should they got no stock? Holy shit. <clears throat> Look at this. The yard, Mother Hubbard's cupboard. The yard is empty. Can you believe this? <clears throat> See, this is a C-class coupe. It doesn't look anywhere near as nice as a E coupe, does it? No, but it doesn't. I like the C class a lot better than the C class coupe. Yes, yes. Your dad's car is a lot nicer. Than I that think car. it is. I think it is. <laughs> oh, what's, what is this? Normally you'd think what's this? This is a 17. C C43, ninety thousand dollars. It's got twenty thousand on the clock. I think that's a three liter turbo. Three liter six. What's my turbo? Twin turbo. Oh, is it? So it's got a low rev turbo and a higher engine tur turbo. Do you like that? Sorry, sorry. The thing that I'm understanding though, with whether it's a Mercedes or BMW, yes, they're only going to last a certain amount of years. Uh, now. Seven years? Then, then you don't want to know them, but the, the amount of depreciation is like no They got no, you're 100% right. They got absolutely no. They got no C's. Look at this. What the hell have they got? I don't like these A's. Do you like these A's? Listen, I wouldn't buy it, but it 
If, if you had a girlfriend, if you had a girlfriend, you had a C300 for yourself and you yeah. wanted to buy a Merc for her. Or if you're it's, it's instead of a Toyota Corolla. Yeah. Yeah. That's what you're buying. Yeah. Instead of Toyota Corolla, you've got a bit of money. I think the Corolla would be so much more reliable, but... <laughs> this is a 16. 87,000. E300. See, that's expensive. 87,000. It's here. It's an E300. For 400, isn't it? 400, you're right. It's got 44,000 Ks on it. That's not cheap, is it? See these, you know these here? These are just Nissans, did you know that? They're Nissan Navara. Nissan Navara. They stopped what making them now. The engine? Is it a Mercedes engine? No, it's no? a Nissan. It's just, I oh, it's a Nissan engine too. I didn't know that. Well, they, when you say Nissan, Infinity and Nissan and Benz do yeah. stuff together. Yeah, yeah. 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 Like BMW and Peugeot do together. Did you know yeah. that? Yeah. What have they got here? They got nothing. There's no stock. What, what, what is like? Like I'm, I'd like a C200 or a C3. They got nothing. Look at this. What the hell's happened? There's nothing here, is there? People, it's all this free scomo money. And no discounts, you know that? Off anything or...? Not, nothing. So what is this? This is a C what? See, the E looks so much nicer. What's yeah. oh, a C43? C43, that's a monster. Yeah, but I don't look at it and think, yeah, I really look like that. Is it a dream car? No. I think the E Class 1 is a dream car. This is not a dream car. <clears throat> Can you believe it or not? Nothing here. Absolutely. And you're telling me the economy is cactus? What were you saying? No, I just don't think the fundamentals make sense when you see so many stores and they're closed. Well, what does Ben's tell you here? No discount, $5,900 delivery so charges. I tell you what, that white car looks pretty sexy there. What do you think? But that just proves to me, though, that everybody's got the money to buy a Mercedes. It's time to sell. That's what I mean. Can next you believe? I've never seen this yard. Driver, next to the taxi driver will be buying the E-Class. That's when it'll be definitely time to sell it. Well, it, it's probably not a good idea to incur too much debts, you know, but you shouldn't incur unnecessary debts for assets that don't increase in value, should you? Sure. You've got to enjoy life too, you know what I mean? Oh, absolutely. Do you honestly think that looks like a hundred and fifty thousand dollar vehicle? No. But what does? It does yeah. 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 Not for me. It's nice, but not for me to say. Hey guys, check out my one of my best friends, Jamie Opulence, on YouTube. Just go to Jamie Opulence on YouTube. A fantastic travel, a fantastic channel from my good friend Jamie. Check it out, guys. Hey guys, Archie Luxury. Guys, I want to introduce a new service to you. ValueYourWatch.com. Proud supporters of Archie Luxury. No seller's fees. No buyer's fees. That's right, guys. This is a trading platform to buy or sell watches. You can start selling for free. That's right. Uh, we advertise our paying... For, for our paying sub subscribers on Google, Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, it's a global platform. That's right, guys. Get $50 off the annual subscription by applying the coupon ARCHIE 
when you check in there. But guys, you can try this for free straight away. Guys, you can start listing watches. ValueYourWatch.com. Give it a try and tell me what you guys think of that. Subscribe and tell your friends and don't be afraid to get a paid review. 50 US dollars for a paid review. It helps me stay full time on YouTube and I will see you in the next one. 50 US dollars paid review. I can't survive on Google Ads. I need your support. And guys, you could also sponsor me on Patreon. Patreon allows you to pay as little as a dollar a month to keep me on YouTube. Hey guys, Archie Luxury, who do I recommend for watches in Brisbane and Sydney? Vintage Watch Co, that's correct. Vintage Watch Co in Brisbane Arcade in Brisbane and the Strand Arcade in Sydney. Vintage Watch Co, Brisbane and Sydney. Ronnie, I've known him since the late 90s. Ronnie is a top bloke. Luke is a great guy. Vintage Watch Co. That is who I recommend in Australia. Check out Vintage Watch Co. and the guys amazing range of watches. They also do service and repairs. Vintage Watch Co. That is where the pontiff goes. You know some of my paddocks came from Vintage Watch Co. That's right guys. Vintage Watch Co.